Right, we've got Ellie uh, taking up the main space in the garage now and we need to adjust the handbrake. So here are the front brakes on a 2CV. You can easily inspect them by opening the bonnet. Uh, I've moved one of the cardboard hoses out of the way. Note I use garden twine to hold them to other cables to try and stop them falling on the exhaust because that creates fire and fire is undesirable in a car. Uh, apart from inside the engine. Uh, I have a special tool and this goes on the um, eccentric down there like so. Um, so I need, now need to undo the lock nut and I can adjust up the handbrake but I'm first of all going to check that the cable is actually having some sort of effect. You can adjust the cable via this mechanism here so I want to make sure that if I click it just a bit the handbrake does indeed start moving so make sure there's no slack in the cable and then we set the pads uh, it's separate handbrake pads by the way they're in this housing at the front the main brake pads are down here at the back and that clip is all that holds it in place so you flick the clip out remove the pad in seconds easy all right so i've just um, stripped the adjuster and um, that's the eccentric and as you can see the hole is not central which um, enables it to act on the um, pad so the pad sits down there and um, that adjusts how it sits on it by controlling how close that is to the brake thing there you go uh, i'm great at technical explanations so i pulled the bolt out which is a 14 mil head i'm going to grease copper grease all this to keep it loose and refit and there we go that's the handbrake done incidentally you still get that much free play on a 2cv because of the inboard brakes so the disc is held firm but we've got play in this sliding joint um, so you, you always get a little bit of wheel wobble and I remember um, I was on a, a ferry once, uh, speed ferries, when they used to operate across the channel and um, always a bit rough, a um, bit voyage to the bottom of the sea and um, my car was parked across the ferry, um, squeezed in at the top and it was caused all manner of alarm because she was just rocking backwards and forwards and people thought the handbrake wasn't on but it is, that's just what happened. The other wobble is that way and there's quite a bit there in the kingpin and um, to be honest, 2CVs always have play in the kingpins and it's always a nightmare trying to convince the MOT man that it's okay because kingpins don't fail. Eventually you can get so bad the wheel will wobble going round a bend but it has to be pretty bad for that to happen. But because MOT men and women indeed are used to ball joints where play is a very very bad thing, it means failure is pretty imminent, they tend to get a bit jumpy about these so I'm just going to pack them full of grease while it's jacked up and the weight's off and um, I'll hope um, that'll do the trick. Incidentally getting the brake gubbins this side uh, made even more fun by the air filter but you can just about get in um, down to the brake down there. So um, yeah time for my usual battle with the grease gun which never seems to want to work ever but here it is. Do your worst grease gun. Right, so I've put the grease in the kingpin and already, look at that, it's far better. Um, it's probably, or she's probably done 2,000 miles since they were last greased, um, which is over the odd really. You should, you should do them every 1,000 miles. But frankly, when it's this much hassle that you have to jack the car up and get the grease gun out, um, I must concede I generally can't be bothered. Now to do the other side. People say that I'm very good at remaining calm and never throw my tools but my grease gun has just greased its last of the useless thing um, just keeps jamming up and um, can never seem to get the air out of it bloody thing so um, that's, that's the end of that um, fortunately I've greased what needs to be greased this time but I'll have to get a decent grease gun if you've got any recommendations for a grease gun do let me know right. Doesn't feel too much play there, so hopefully ooh, she'll be all right. Don't wobble too much, wobbling on the axle stands. It's time to get the old girl out for a bit of a drive on the driveway. 
Right then, um, see if Ellie will actually start. Oh, no indicators, please, old girl. It's only a choke. Just giving her a bit of a hand crank, just to get the fluid circulating. And um, let's see what she does. Mostly sound like the um, uh, battery's flat. Ignition's on, let's give it a crank. Acorns in the air it's deeply troubling. first start of the season is going to be more difficult than I anticipated. She lives. Right, it's the day before MOT, um, a nice hail laden day in paradise, and um, you can see we've got one MOT fail right here. This side light isn't behaving, um, so um, at the risk of making everyone with a modern car envious, I shall just remove the headlamp. And there we go. So we've got a loose connection in there somewhere. I need to try and sort that out. So I'm going to have a play with the wires and see if we can get this side light to behave. Now I think the problem might be the bulb holder itself. Um, I'm going to try and open out the earth point on the side of the bulb 
and to see if um, I can get a better contact on the bulb itself. That looks better. Right, let's see if it'll still work once I've put the headlamp back together. Su success! Right, next stop, MOT station. Right, it is time to head to the MOT station. Let's see if she'll start, first of all. Almost. It is quite cold today. I don't like the sound of that starter motor, that's sounding a bit sticky. Hmm. We shall see how that goes. Anyway, I must get to the MOT station. We shall see how this goes. And there we go, she's passed with just two advisories. Oh, I'm going to get in the car because it's hailing again. Oh. So the advisories are for a rear brake pipe, which to be fair does look a bit crusty. So I'm going to have to get that replaced and a slight leak on that exhaust joint. Um, one I've been struggling with, try a bit more paste on it. But yeah, good news. Hee hee! Right, Ellie, let's go for a drive. And we're back home. Ellie is taxed. Road legal for another year. So yeah, a very pleasing day, all in all. Um, particularly pleased about the handbrake, which operates on the front wheels, remember. Um, to get a test pass, it only has to deliver 16% um, stopping power. Um, but it was actually 30% so I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not sure the handbrake has ever been that good um, Actually holds on hills. It's amazing um, So yeah, I've just got the uh, rear brake pipe to sort out on this side and a Minor exhaust leak and uh, she's good to go. So very pleasing. So this weekend I'm actually going to take her up to Blackburn services uh, to take part in an auto solo event. That's on Sunday uh, So we've got some miles to do. We've got some cornering on the door handles to do and that'll be in a future video. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I shall see you again. Well done, Ellie.